I do think it's important to still laugh at uncomfortable topics, you know, like, I have a friend who has two hook hands. <laughs> and exactly, you can laugh at that. It's not because you hate people with hook hands. You're just like, we didn't think you were gonna say hook hands, right? That's, that wasn't the next word you predicted me to say. And the same thing happened when I first met him. He shook out his hook, and I didn't expect to see a hook, so it caught me off guard, you know? And I didn't know what to do in that moment. I, I didn't know whether to address it, not address it, hang my jacket on it. I didn't... <laughs> I was like, I've never been in this situation before. So I just sort of panicked, you know, decided to pretend everything was normal, you know, just shook the hook, said, nice to meet you, and walked away. And then I had a friend who was a comic on the same show, and he got the hook. And when he got the hook, he was like, what the hell, man? What the hell? You gotta warn a guy. You gotta warn a guy before you just shove your coloring in his face. <laughs> and I was like, that was the right reaction. <laughs> That's how I wish I had reacted. <laughs> so immediately the guy just looked so at peace, like thank goodness somebody's actually acknowledging the reality in front of him, you know? Because we're all so afraid all the time. Because we're all messed up, we all have something, right? Like who's got nothing wrong with them? Exactly. <laughs> we're, all, we're all messed up in some way. I, I, I get depressed sometimes. Um, I actually just went off my antidepressants, which is, thank you. It's good, I'm starting to feel again, you know. <laughs> and I thought I would get like a natural remedy for depression, so I went to the herbalist, you know, the woman in Whole Foods who wears the badge. <laughs> and I told her, I was like, I just went off my antidepressants, and she goes, good for you good for you. And I was like, thank you. And she's like, do you want to try some CBD oil? It's supposed to be good for depression. And I was like, you know, honestly, I don't think I need it now. I think all I needed was someone to say, good for you. <laughs> and now I feel great. So now anytime I feel down, I just go to aisle three. I talk to Susan and get some self-esteem. <laughs> Then I started to realize that people say the exact same thing when you go on antidepressants as when you go off them. So when you go on them, people are like, good for you for really taking care of your mental health. Good for you. And then you go off them and people are like, good for you for being so brave to do this on your own. Good for you. So what I realize is people just don't care. <laughs> they don't care what you're doing. I was actually sober for 15 years. Thank you. And then I turned 16, so. But I tried, you know, I tried. My friend just got sober and now she thinks everybody's an addict. Like she just keeps seeing addicts everywhere. She's like, do you think maybe your ex was an addict because his behavior was very erratic? And I was like, no, you know, maybe a narcissist, but not an addict. And then she's like, well, do you think maybe you're an addict because you kept going back to the relationship? And I was like, you know, some people are just dumb. <laughs> like some people don't need any outside help to make really bad decisions. <laughs> Went on a date recently with a guy who tried to seduce me with Adderall. That was interesting. He's like, you wanna go back to my place to do some Adderall? And I was like, okay, sure, it's good for learning, right? <laughs> so we went back to his place, we did the Adderall, and uh, I think what we learned from this experience is that Adderall is not ecstasy, does not have the same effects, I wasn't at all turned on, instead I was just very, very focused <laughs> on finding ecstasy. <laughs> I was like, now I need it. <laughs> Sometimes I get so depressed I just wanna lie in bed all day, you know? You guys ever feel like that? You're just like, I just wanna lie in bed all day. But then I'm like, but is it lie in bed? 
or does it lay in bed? Right, because like a chicken lays an egg, but sleeping dogs lie. So do chickens lay and dogs lie? And then I'm like, okay, it's definitely time to get up. <laughs> but you're not supposed to end a sentence with a preposition. So then I'm like, I might as well just stay in bed. <laughs> but is it might as well or is it may as well? I think what I'm trying to say is uh, I'm a really good lay. Thank <laughs> you.